fellow hobbyist collectors and preheads alike, I want to welcome you back if you're a regular subscriber, but if you by any chance are new to my channel, this is Predator Collectibles and I am your host, Glennon Taylor, and we take a look at anything from action figures, comic book statues, prop replicas, underneath the Predator franchise that you can take home as a collectible. Now on today's video, this kind of wraps up the month of August for the San Diego Comic Con 2019 exclusives with the Funko Toucan sitting on top of the bat signal, mainly because if you notice from my backdrop, this is the Batman vs. Predator kind of theme because I did finally get into my collection the two-pack Batman vs. Predator from NECA and that's what we're going to be looking at today. I am really excited and happy to have this in my collection because of the price point was if you were able to get it, the pre-sale was $120, but if you were able to go to the con and get it, it was $60. So luckily I did get it for the retail price. Shipping was around $10.40. But I kind of figured, based on its size of the box and the weight, that is kind of the go-to price for shipping something like this to my home. So I'm really happy to review it for you today on my channel. So by all means, let's get into this review with a little bit of explanation from the comic books mixed in. Let's get started. Now it is helpful to note that this particular figure combo or two-pack was announced at Toy Fair 2017. Uh, to Randy, very hard working on trying to get this into our hands as collectors. I know it is not his fault based upon what happened regarding the backlash that was. You had to pay $120 for the entire set, $60 a piece, but you had to pay again $120 in order to guarantee you getting either or the Batman vs. Predator or Superman vs. Aliens 2-pack. Now, I was really hard pressed to deciding if I should get both all four figures, the Superman, Batman, Aliens, and Predator, because there is in fact a comic book that is of course the Superman and Batman versus Aliens and Predator comic book, which is right here in my hand. But I kind of figured also there is, believe it or not, a Superman versus Predator comic book as well. So I was really deciding if I should get the Superman and Aliens you know, two pack on top of the Batman vs. Predator set, mainly due to the fact there are both comic books crossovers that eventually tie in all four figures. But because the way that NECA had promoted this set, it was pretty much their own solo comics Superman vs. Aliens and Batman vs. Predator. For the sake of this particular video, that's where we're going to be looking at just this, and I'll be adding it into my collection only at this current moment the Batman vs. Predator 2-pack. Now, there are, of course, other renditions of the comic book, as you can tell from this backdrop behind me. There was Batman vs. Predator 2, as well as Batman vs. Predator 3 Blood Match. And based upon that, there are other introductions of characters like the Huntress and Robin that had to square off against these intergalactic hunters. And I think that's really cool that successfully, on December of 1991, it was their very first crossover with DC and Dark Horse. It sold very well to help us get the two and three volumes for Batman vs. Predator. Okay, looking at the box, it's pretty simple, straightforward, and I mean very simple. There is no artwork other than the logos themselves, the Predator, Batman, Batman vs. Predator, but if you turn it over, black, you know, again, nothing artwork, black, designs, logos, and more black. But if you open it, it does of course have the Velcro piece, and it does show the Batman Predator extra hand, the visor for his mask, the gun, baseball bat, and with the other Predator you get a separate head, backpack, two hands, and the staff and the cutting disc. So we're gonna start off with this review, and that's gonna be with Batman first. So let's get him out of the box. With this Batman figure, which I have to attest is my very first Batman figure in many years, mainly because again, I don't collect Batman as a character, but with the sculpt and paint, this is where NECA definitely shines. And with this illustration in comparison to the figure itself, the illustration was done by both brothers Andy and Adam Kubert, who I had the pleasure of meeting at Phoenix Comic Con, and I had a copy of Batman vs. Predator signed by both of them. They are the sons of legendary comic book artist Joseph Kubert, 
And as sons, they run the Kubert School of Art, a lot of comic book artists who have graduated from that school. And I just really love this particular Batman figure, mainly because the suit was designed after almost being beaten to an inch of his life by the Predator, and in a concussion slash recovery, he had to therefore generate a brand new suit to help combat the Predator at his own game at the end of the comic book. In regards to the suit itself, I really do like the battle damage and the scratches and the scuffs marks that definitely has it on the chest. I also like the bat logo and with the visor on the bat cowl, it does fit very snugly as a pro, but the con is it seems to be kind of loose. I don't see anywhere it does attach to the cowl. So I guess if you're not very careful, you can lose or break the visor. So be very mindful of that. The other thing I like is the mixed media cape that the figure comes with. I'm very glad NECA decided to give this to us as an option, as opposed to a plastic sculpted cape. So I really do like the cape itself as a mixed media fabric where it, with posability, you can either cover his face, cover his body. Now the other con I kind of have though, is that the thigh armors do come off kind of easily. They are not attached to the Batman himself. But the real con that I feel is really stiff joints that this figure has. Out of all the NECA figures that I have owned throughout my years of collecting Predator. I also do like the feet though, where the toes do bend to give it way much more stability depending upon which pose you put them in. But I definitely have to say that his calf muscles were about the tightest on any body part of this figure. The other cool accessories that comes with Batman is he does come with a gun, which I, I know that per canon, a lot of fans, Batman doesn't necessarily use a gun, but I guess in the comic book, he does use a gun against the Predator, and he also comes with the baseball bat. Now, the baseball bat definitely is my all-time favorite accessory with Batman, because in the comic book, he does track down the Predator after battling him a little bit in his own Wayne manner and pretty much just smacks the Predator across the face with the baseball bat, which is really cool because on this accessory baseball bat, he does have the green blood splatter that NECA gave him uh, as an accessory, so I think that's really cool. When it comes down to the calm, though, on the extra gun-wielding hand, I couldn't help but notice that the paint kind of flakes off of the peg that inserts into the forearm. Now the Predator figure is something I absolutely had to have in my collection, which is why I'm really glad to have the Batman vs. Predator 2-pack from NECA. But the Predator figure is everything, again, per this illustration in comparison to the figure itself, is accurate, again, as it is with Batman from NECA. And I don't expect NECA to disappoint us as far as accuracy goes. But in this particular page, the Predator definitely feels that he has beaten the most worthy opponent in Gotham City, which is Batman himself. And I do believe that, yes, this is a figure that I had to have. And a lot of fans would feel as though this is the same old sculpt but different paint, and this is just a rehashed, reused figure. True enough, but you have to also understand the comic book was released in December of 1991, at that time, there were only two movies, Predator 1 and Predator 2, that again, artists Andy and Adam Kubert can use as reference when drawing this character. But NECA definitely gave us both the armor that is in the comic book. The armor was used from both Predator 1 and Predator 2 sculpts, with a little bit of addition to the loincloth, as far as the back and front of that said loincloth, adding a little bit much more length as far as that goes. But in regards to the blades, they do come out very easily, so that's not a sculpting or joint problem. They do go right back in very easily as well. I will keep in mind to let you know that what's really cool is that the computer gauntlet does open and close, but when you're bending the arm on this particular figure, keep in mind that the hose does not stretch out as easily as you would think. So just be very mindful that you can have the hose disconnect from the figure if you're not too careful when you're posing your figure. So you do get the P2 disc as an accessory, as well as the hand that holds the Predator 2 disc. 
and of course you also have the Predator 1 slash Predator 2 med kit slash cannon. So that's really awesome, I do believe as well. And again, be very careful, the hose can it, it can disconnect from the backpack as I've seen on other collectors uh, two packs from NECA. What I really love the most out of this is the combi stick. Now the combi stick was drawn specifically for this comic book and it's unlike any other comic stick you ever have seen in the Predator franchise. And it does both collapse and extend as you can see from this video clip. It doesn't extend all the way out as I would prefer, but that's perfectly neither here nor there. What I also really love about this particular Predator is his bio helmet sculpt. This is absolutely beautiful and I love the yellow eyes and his dreadlocks are always as they are plastic and they do kind of already form with the rest of the figure and they do come up with a swappable head and I really love the unmasked Predator as far as the paint on him, the sculpt and being since this was already in a vacuum formed you know pack or seal the dreadlocks on the unmasked pr version of the Predator has already took form with the vacuum form seal. So it's kind of hard to pose the dreads a little bit. You have to try to spread them out as evenly as you can whenever you are swapping out the heads. And that's where, again, I'll be very extremely careful to where you're not going to either damage anything as far as the head sculpts. But and there you have, again, the two-pack Batman vs. Predator from NECA. I'm really excited to have this in my collection as I mentioned before and I also know that as a collector and as a fan you may be feeling very frustrated because of the $120 price point. I know I was. I still haven't decided if I want the Superman vs. Aliens 2-pack to add to my collection because of the reasons I mentioned before in the beginning of this video, but we'll have to wait and see. But if you are again feeling frustrated because of the flippers on eBay with it being a 2-pack of $80 to $90, I know the two sets of uh, both of the Superman, Aliens, and Batman, Predator go for between $180 and $200. Believe me, I completely understand why you'd be frustrated, but I hope that you are able to find an opportunity to get this into your collection. I highly recommend it. But I also have done a few other Batman vs. Predator related videos, like this review of the comic book store prop a kind of display for the issue number one variants of Batman vs. Predator. I also met Arthur Sidom, who did the prestige format cover artist for Batman vs. Predator. So I'll leave all those videos right up here. And again, I mentioned before, leave me a comment what your thoughts are regarding this particular two-pack. If you either have gotten it or if you haven't decided yet, I'd love to know your thoughts. But if again, if this review has helped you in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up on this video. And again, if you are a Predator fan, Hit that subscribe button as well as bell notification. I will see you next week for my live stream. And until then, happy hunting.